Hi, people. I uh, wanted to show you this. This is a tree in my front yard. And this is the tree, you know, that uh, I mean, it's a big tree. And it's where I, uh, it's sort of like a gifting tree. I'll show you some things here. What they do, what they, what, what the Sasquatch do is they leave me little gifts, little gifts for, um, you know, whatever. And I put all my, all, I put all the little gifts that I find on this tree, and I, I have had a lot more. But the kids in the neighborhood come by and they see them, and they take them, which is kind of the point, you know. So I put them here and. There's Sasquatch given to me, and I put them here, and the kids come and take them. So that's that's kind of fun. Little shiny things, or little little fun things. This is a little plastic. That um, this turtle here. It's part of my story. First time I heard about Sasquatch, it involves a turtle. But anyway, this is fun. It's been going on for for years. But one of the things I want to talk about is is glyphs today. This is uh, this is one of the most uh, common glyphs that you get. is is a Y glyph, and kind of what it means is, you know, two into one. And uh, you know, and then the, the, the thin one usually represents the humans, and the longer one, substantial one, represents the Sasquatch, who are a little bit bigger. But I got some interesting glyphs today. I want to show you. Uh, you know, just to let you feel it out, feel like what you think. This uh, is a couple of stick stick glyphs along the same. Along the same as uh, the Y glyph, this one here, and I think this is real important because it kind of represents two different timelines, right? This this timeline is kind of where we're at now. With uh, this is the Sasquatch here, much bigger, and this is the human one with something growing straight up out of it, and that kind of this all twisted up, right? Like our fates together have been twisted up. And then this one here is another timeline where our, uh, if it goes really bad, it's like the human is broke off and the Sasquatch are broke off. That means everybody going to die. I mean, if that's a, you know, those are two possible timelines. And uh, that's worth taking in, into consideration of the chaos that's going on right now and the turmoil and if it doesn't if it if it doesn't work out then this is this timeline is where you know like if an asteroid hits or you know coronal mass ejection or some something really radical happens could be that we wipe out all life on the planet again so that that's kind of sobering that up uh, stick lift I just showed you is kind of sobering but um, this is the one they left this is the one they left me um, just a couple of days ago and I didn't get around to putting it together but this is the history of humanity and this right here is the Sasquatch and the humans but I want you to look at it And you see right here, these two branches are growing together. And uh, that, that's, that's pretty, I think that's pretty significant. That, that means like the people who are friends and family with Sasquatch, they, uh, the two branches are now, uh, are now, growing together 
And I think that's really, that's really a lot of hope. The, um, that last glyph that I showed you was the one where the two branches were coming together. That's really one of the main messages about what Pork and Beans is doing, the Pork and Beans show. We're trying to show how the Sasquatch and the humans are getting together and it's been pretty amazing. So humans are feeling like Sasquatch is our family and Sasquatch are feeling like humans are part of their clan. So that's kind of a big deal. That's, that's the direction that the Sasquatch want to go and, uh, and what's actually good for the humans as well. And uh, another thing about the bad sort of the bad, strange looking stick glyphs, you know, is the, the possibility of disaster. Well, what a lot of people don't know right now, maybe, uh, you know, they're still playing around with Sasquatch as being a monster or, or whatever. They're, they're, they're beings, they're human beings, primarily human beings. They just look different than we do and they, they live different than we do. But, um, they're coming under a lot of pressure right now. There's a lot of pressure. The, um, the uh, Mark uh, Bedowitz, uh, I mean Mike Mike Bedowitz, uh, got this whole information about the, the fires in California. Uh, one of the major impacts about the fires in California was to put pressure on the Sasquatch. Some Sasquatch died in that. And, uh, but they got most of the Sasquatch out, and they got most of the of the uh, of the animals out. You know, they they helped them, you know, get out. But that was like sort of like a planned genocide. There's also uh, from other sources I got that there's ten different uh, government agencies or black ops agencies that are uh, exist to to take care of the Sasquatch problem and the Dogman problem. And some of these agencies are pretty radical. I mean, there's, there's stories of entire clans being taken out with missiles and with helicopters and, and, uh, and you know, advanced uh, war techniques. This, this, is, this is what's going on out there. And then there's others for the Dogman. There's, there's other agencies that take care of the rogue dog man and, and uh, so in some places eradicate uh, you know whole counties full of the of dog man but the Sasquatch have, have and, and then from a third case a psychic who's connected to the Sasquatch was saying you know n not all the Sasquatch are going to tell everybody what, what their issue is I mean but uh, we are getting feedback that they're saying uh, to stop the killing, stop the killing of our families and our children. You know, they're freaked out. Uh, then uh, another thing they say, uh, we're getting blamed for stuff, right? We're, they're getting blamed for the, for the, uh, you know, Pilates, what is it, whatever his name is, uh, the 411 victims. It's not them. There's, there's other, there's other cryptids, there's other uh, ET kind of people. There's other agencies that are involved with taking people off this planet, and uh, in the th in the millions. It's not just happening in America; it's happening across the globe. Uh, some kind of a some kind of a galactic kind of a slave trade thing that has been going on. It's been going on for a long time, and right. But the the way it's kind of been packaged by the 411 books is that maybe it is. Um, Maybe it is the Sasquatch people, you know. But the Sasquatch people saying it's not us, you know. There, there's people, there's other beings out there that look a little bit like Sasquatch, and they're they're taking all the blame for it, and they're getting eradicated. So, then another one they said is uh, we're not monsters, you know. There's all kind of stuff like monster movies and and uh, 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 people being blamed. Uh, blaming, mon uh, bl you know, every kind of interaction that they have is it's all fear-based and the, the Sasquatch are monsters and Monster Creek or, 
you know, it's all this kind of stuff. They're not monsters, okay? Uh, and so stop, start, look, when, America's got a really bad history of seeing things as non-human, not less than human. When they came to United, when they came to, to America, they saw the Indians as less than human. They call them savages, right? Savages, monsters, and what they did with the savages, which was for the human beings, First Nation human beings, is they systematically set out to kill them, genocide. And in over whatever it was, a hundred years or something, they killed like six million people. We we did this just from the this the attitude of uh, you know it's their land, it's our land, and you know we kill them and they took their children and all this whole thing is pretty dark. And then the same thing was going on with the black people in America. The black people brought over the slaves. They were seen as less than human. They were seen seen as childlike as is is a three-fifths of a human. They're not, they're not all human, right? And, you know, our history of, and people are still think that way, that, that mentality of monsters, you know, uh, of, of uh, savages, of, uh, you know, wild men, you know, of, of less than human. That, that's been, de whoever gets these labels, it gets the devastating effect, right? of genocide or slavery or oppression and it's still it's still going on so you know think about that all the channels that are out there that are promoting the fear factor fear factor fear and this and the savages and the monsters and they're trying to get me in well okay some of that's true but there's nobody out there really talking about how incredible and amazing and and tender and nice these people can be and uh, about the healing and, and the spiritual uh, awakening that they, that they cause and the opening of hearts. Nobody's talking about that, but that is the fundamental reality of who they are. Um, the Sasquatch says it's time to get back to the all one. Everything in the universe is one. All the creatures are one. All the plants and animals are one. We're all one. And we need to get back to that and stop this division of good and bad and and you know intelligence and you know you know there's rocks that are way more intelligent than human beings so this whole idea of intelligence or what it means to be human is kind of skewed you know in our favor and uh, it's just basically not true we need to get back to the all one all one and no and and no space okay the Sasquatch another Sasquatch said uh, the killing and the bloodshed has to stop. See, we, we, it's not reported onto all the programs and all the videos. It's not reported the Sasquatch side. There are people who are out there hunting Sasquatch. There's put bounty on their heads. There's teams of people out there trying to kill Sasquatch. You know, this has to stop. You know, if think of it this way. What if you had like uh, you know the Omaha Indians or or or, or uh, you know the Cherokee Indians? What if people were out there trying to kill it, kill them now in modern times? It would be an outrage. You know what I mean? Uh, and and there are people out there trying to kill Indians. It's just been going on in uh, in Canada for for years, where they just uh, every year these the the female uh, American people, American Indian people, getting killed, getting you know just, just like genocide going on out there when it gets to be hundreds of people a year. You know, that's still going on. This has to stop. The bloodshed of uh, uh, has to stop. You know? It, it, it Change your whole mindset. They're good people. You know? The, every tribe had good and bad people in it, but mostly they're good. You know? They're just normal people trying to live in this world. Well, and then stop the fear factor, okay? Not, there's not that many actual cases of Sasquatch actually killing people. When you consider there's there's uh, maybe twenty thousand uh, you know contact experiences a month going on in the United States and Canada, um, and there's no you know there's there would, they're not killers, right? There's there's other other conditions are going on. They're they're, they're not killers. They're not going to go out and kill people. So. 
you know, stop the fear factor. Uh, they're, they're very tall, intimidating, uh, you know, scary looking beings, but that doesn't mean that that's who they are. And you're coming into their space and, you know, if they throw rocks at you, they just, that's like a pretty, you know, pretty like simple way of like saying go away or they yell at you or something to go away from our space. That, that's the most non-violent thing you can imagine. Like how, how is somebody going to, how is some forest person going to tell people to get away from their space? It's not a good time. Don't come here now. You know, they throw rocks at you or, 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 or make noises or make tree breaks or something. You know, they're trying to, that's pretty much the most non-violent thing you can do. So, you know, stop the whole um, fear factor thing. Listen to Melba Ketchum, listen to the people, listen to the people who are having personal experiences with Sasquatch. Those people will tell you what the true story is. How intelligent they are, how spiritual they are, how high they are spiritually. And um, the Sasquatch wants to know that we are all brothers and sisters. As far as we know as human beings, it's a good chance that they are our root stock. So that means they are actually our elder brothers and sisters. They, they, if they are the root stock from which human beings were derived. And, uh, and again, and, and last, I'd like to say um, that what, what they've been teaching me this whole time, you know, for the last, whatever it is, nine years, is, uh, is about the all one and no space, is that we are all one. And, and then the other thing I want to throw in there is Okay, on the Pork and Bean Show, right, which is what, one of our things on the Pork and Bean Show is to show the heart space, how heart connected the Sasquatch are and how, you know, and powerful, how powerful that connection can be and how liberating and awakening it can be. Um, I just want to say for all the Christian people out there that uh, the, the people that we've interviewed, we've interviewed about 30 people and we've talked to a lot of people, right? The people who have the most, absolute most interaction with the Sasquatch are people who have prayed. You know, like Barry Webster goes out and his, his goal for going out to see the Sasquatch people is not to see the Sasquatch people. His goal is to go out and pray for them, right? And we have uh, other people who go out and they every time they go out they say a prayer for the Sasquatch people, for their family, for their children to be healthy and grow up strong and then have no fear. These people have hundreds and hundreds of contacts, you know, to, because the Sasquatch people can feel it. So this whole spirituality thing, if you're out there wondering what to do about Sasquatch, go out and start praying for them. You know what I mean? Just like you would pray for, uh, for anybody, pray for the peace or pray for somebody's family to be, you know, alleviated from sickness. Christian people are very good at praying. If you want to have contact with a Sasquatch, go out and pray for them. Okay? And, you know, all these people, his, oh, they're, we're a conservative and we don't want you to cuss on our channel because, you know, some kind of stuff like that. Well, yeah, take your faith and put it in action. If you say you're a, a Christian and, you know, these people are monsters and demons and stuff, go out and pray for them. Do that consistently, you know, and because we're all one. We're all brothers and sisters, you know. Remember, God made the trees and the animals and the birds and everything first. So they are older, and, and then we were supposed to be the ones who take care of them, the husbands of them, you know. So pray for them. That's what... That's, you know, use that as a modality. Instead of going out there with the radios or playing your flute or banging your drum, that's all good too, you know, uh, or shouts and all that kind of stuff. But see what happens when you pray for the Sasquatch people. If you're a Christian and you're a deeply spiritual person, give it a shot. See what happens. What do you got to lose, you know, to bring your faith, your, your heart faith into the contact, right, into the connection. Because ultimately, it's about, you know, we've, we've had, what, 40 years of, of footprints and hair samples and scat. It's, it's about time to actually break that barrier and actually be friends with them, friends with them, because they have a lot to teach. So, 
I don't know, it's a little bit of soapbox, but the if you don't know, the Sasquatch are under a lot of pressure. They are being killed in numbers that are shocking by different agencies and, and, and also just by farmers, you know, and hunters. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're watching other videos that uh, that's, that's their, their situation. Their situation is they're under a lot of pressure right now from, you know, governments and, and, uh, and other things. So anyway, I love everybody and, I, you know, the Sasquatch, the Sasquatch are worth your time investigating. Every single person who's connected to Sasquatch people have felt some kind of a pull, some kind of a fascination, some kind of I want to know, some kind of excitement, right? Follow that, right? That's a good thing. Follow that. Follow that excitement. Follow your heart. Sasquatch have the ability to pull you from your heart, you know, but use your heart. Instead of calling them monsters, instead of calling them demons and all this kind of stuff, you know, call them brothers and sisters and just go out and say, hey, let's be friends. You know, I'm here. I, and listen, they, they don't take that. They, they, they watch humans, right? They watch humans. And uh, just because you're coming out out to a, to a place with good intent is not enough. You actually have to tell them. You have to tell them from your heart, I do not want to harm you. I want to be friends. You know, so they can connect your actions to your words. And as soon as they understand that you're not going to harm them, that you're not going to, you know, you're not going to try to grab something from them. You're not going to try to grab a picture from them or, or uh, try to you know, look at their babies or their wives or something. You're just going to be respectful, you know. When you walk with Sasquatch, you walk with honor. So show up with honor. So show up with prayer. And see what happens as a modality, as a contact modality. You know, like the ET people, they go out and have CE5 contact modality where they go out and they, you know, shine lights in the sky and they pray and they meditate and, and they call the ETs down. There's thousands of them people out there. That's what they do. They sh and they walk with honor and they show respect. Sometimes they'll meditate for an hour just to bring them down. But the ships always come. Okay? That's, so the star people and the Sasquatch people, dogman people, all, and human people, it's all, they're all need to come together now. Okay? It's, not, just, it's not aliens. The aliens have been around longer than we have. All right, love everybody. This is gonna, I'm going to try to upload this, upload this today on Thanksgiving. So, thank you for watching. Take away those chillin' yeah. and take away them green yeah. because Mama's little baby loves poor.